settle in with the breath. Adjust the breath so it's a good place to settle in. You're building a home for the mind. Or if you've been building it all along, well, you're doing repairs. Because the mind tends to shoot out of this home. Some con sometimes it goes politely out the door, and sometimes it goes crashing through the windows, through the walls. And when you come back in, you've got to do some repair work. So look at the breath. Make sure the breath is comfortable. And once it's comfortable, ask yourself, are there other comfortable spots in the body, too? Think of them connecting up. There's a whole network of comfort. The mind tends to go in the other direction. When there's a pain here and there's a pain there, it tends to draw a line between the two of them. You have a whole band of pain. And then there's a third and a fourth, and it becomes very complex. But if you can realize there are islands of pleasure, islands of ease in the midst of that, think of those connecting. And you find it's a lot easier to settle in. The breath is the main aspect of the body that you can play with, and your perceptions are the main aspect of the present of the mind. The images you hold in mind will have a huge impact on how you experience the breath. So make sure you have an image, or you're using images that are helpful. This way the house stays in good shape. And the more mindful you are, the more the next time you leave the house, you'll be likely to go out the door. So open the door, close it behind you. When you finished your work outside, you come back in. No damage is done to the house, and there's a minimum of work that you need to do when you come back. So take care of your concentration home, because when the mind goes wandering outside, it's not in its home, and yet that's where most of us try to stay. We end up sleeping out exposed to the sun, exposed to the rain, exposed to all kinds of strangers and what they might do. When you look into the media, you have to remember you're dealing with strangers. You have no idea what their intentions are. When you're dealing inside, okay, you're dealing only with your own defilements. They're defilements still, but at least they're yours, and you can get a handle on them a lot more easily. So when you have to go out and forage outside, remember you're foraging to take things back home. Leave the home in good shape, come back, maintain it in good shape. And you can live in this world with a lot less suffering. 